All right, you guys, what's up? Welcome to Tools in Action. We are going over something that you may have seen on this channel before, but this is a different version. It's the Seek Thermal Imager. Basically, you guys, it's a little device that goes on your iPhone or Android. You need to be specific and order depending on the type of your phone. But this one is the XR, which is extended range. As you can see now, we're heated up over here. It's showing the high and low. There's Eric's head. The highest is 87 degrees, and the lowest is 57 degrees in this cup right here. It's pretty cool how it follows it around. That is cool. I like that. Um, it's kind of on the edge of Wi-Fi. That's why it's a little choppy, but it is in the corner of the garage over there. The XR, you guys, the extended range, is going to give you a zoom on it. So basically, Eric, if we're on a boat, I was trying to get this on a boat, but obviously it's winter, so we're not doing it. But like, if, you, if I got a little extension for that and put it above the boat windshield and I'm driving, I could see the entire river. Oh, so it's you know, pretty cool. Like a night vision yeah, kind of deal. You're out cool. hunting, you're in the cabin, you want to put it in the back, see what animals are back there. It'll okay. show you what animals are back there. Um, same features as the other one, you know. Obviously, this is not going to happen, but if this was the iPad, you would swipe this right, and it would match up with the camera to show you what you're seeing. Oh, so you can see like a real picture. Right, gotcha. right. This is for iPhone. I have it hooked up for the iPad right now. It doesn't say anything about an iPad. It works, but it's a little choppy. Um, but... Once you put it up there, you'll be able to see both the regular image and the thermal image, right? Mm -hmm. What else, Eric? What do you think of it? I think it's pretty cool. I, you know, I like it. I don't. What's the price point on this? Uh, I want to say two ninety nine. I mean, you know what? It's good for all sorts of different things. I mean, even just find leaks in your house, stuff like that. Um, I, I think that's pretty cool. I just like the fact that it's small and you can attach it to your phone. Um, so you you don't have to go buy like some of the other ones are pretty expensive. Right. right? Yeah. You I mean, know? to get into a so. nice entry level thermal imager, you're looking at six seven hundred dollars. I mean, yeah. Flare has one, the Flare one, but I don't think that's around anymore because it was just it was a case that fit on a, only an iPhone five or an iPhone four oh, or something gotcha. like okay. that. Um, adjustable focus, you guys. True thermal sensor. Uh, 206 by 156 array. 32,136 thermal pixels. Um, 20 degree field of view, magnesium housing. It is really tough and it does come in this little uh, case. case right here. So, um, pretty cool, you guys. It says you can see up to, you can detect up to 1,800 feet. You can recognize within 500 feet and uh, 300 feet, you can identify something. Nice. So, uh, right now, it's in the very far corner of our garage. Yeah, it's pretty far away. Um, let me see, I want to get my head in there. Yeah, I mean, you could. The problem is, like Paul just said, have it in your car. You could, but it has to be outside of the windshield because the windshield will blow back the heat. You know what I'm saying? It's just Then it's just going to get the temperature of the windshield and kind of get messed up. You have to physically have it, you know. In we'll try it with a truck and maybe stand outside and hold the thing. Yeah, that'd we'll be cool. That. <laughs> that'd be cool. Drive without. You know what? That's what we're going to do at yeah. the end of this video. We're going to drive, do a country road at 180 mile an hour just yep. using this. Let's go. No. <laughs> That'd be funny. So check it out, you guys. Let us know what you guys think. It's the Seek Thermal. Thermal.com. If you guys have one of these, let us know. This is the second version. Like we said, they already have one. It's just a regular non-zoomed version, and this is the zoomed version. Uh, I'm going to try to get more of this, you guys, in the summer, in the spring, on yeah. a boat, because I really want to test it out. It's just unfortunate it didn't coincide with the, uh, the time that we uh, got it. The river's frozen, so... I mean, yeah. I could go out there and walk out there, but yeah. chances of me seeing another boat is slim to none. Yeah. <laughs> tools in Action, you guys, check it out. For more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.